The idyllic island of Maui is considered a paradise, but below the turquoise waters lies a hidden danger. As father and grandfather Thomas Smiley took his final swim of his holiday, a tiger shark that was being tracked by wildlife officials closes in. All of a sudden, his fate is in the jaws of an enormous tiger shark as he fights to stay alive. Hit like and subscribe. This is Fierce. 65-year-old Thomas Smiley should have been living his best life. He had retired only the year before from a career as an optometrist. He had owned two optometry practices in Roseville and Sacramento. He and his wife Gail had bought a holiday home on the Ka'anapali shores on the idyllic Hawaiian island of Maui, a place they frequently visited for their vacations. It was their favorite spot, and they secured a place for the entire family to spend their holidays should they wish. Thomas was a family man. He and his wife Gail were high school sweethearts and had been married for 42 years. They had three children and six grandchildren who Thomas was looking forward to spending more time with now that he had finished his busy professional career. In May 2019, from their home in Granite Bay, California, Thomas and Gail were visiting Hawaii once again. They had been vacationing there for more than 14 years. It was a lovely morning, and Thomas took a fateful dip in the ocean at Ka'anapali Beach Park in western Maui. It was 9 in the morning, and Thomas decided on a refreshing dip just before breakfast. He was thinking this would be his last swim for a while, as they were due to fly home the very next day. As it turned out, it did end up being Thomas's last swim, but for very different reasons. Thomas was a highly accomplished man, having earned his undergraduate degree in cell biology from UCLA and received his doctorate in optometry from UC Berkeley. But his life wasn't all about work. It was far more about play. He was an antique and muscle car expert and stock car racer. He was a member of the Sports Car Club of America and was due to race his vintage 1965 Corvette on tracks across Northern California in the Advanced Pro X class in just two weeks' time. But he would never make it. He also loved the water and often spent his time snorkeling, scuba diving, water skiing, and swimming. It was a lovely stretch of coastline, but a predator was swimming along it exactly at the moment Thomas entered the water that day. It was a tiger shark and it was being tracked by the Department of Land and Natural Resources. They were studying its movements, and its presence in the waters just off the resort was known to wildlife officials. But there were no warning signs erected along the beach. Instead, tourists were allowed to enter the water completely unaware of the dangers they were putting themselves in. Tiger sharks are one of the largest shark species in the world. It can grow up to 18 feet, or 5.5 meters long, and weigh in excess of 1,700 pounds, or 900 kilograms. Their fearless and typically aggressive nature, along with their tendency to swim in warm coastal waters, makes them especially dangerous for humans. As Thomas swam parallel to shore about 60 yards out, the shark approached him from behind, an enormous shadow just under the surface of the water, trailing its potential prey. Thomas continued to swim, completely oblivious to the imminent attack. Then the shark lunged forward, its serrated teeth clamping down on his left leg. Thomas was tugged under the water. The force from the bite was so powerful, it felt like his leg was going to give way. He fought back. In those terrifying moments, he knew exactly what had happened. He knew he was in the jaws of a shark. When he turned to see his attacker, he came face to face with the enormous fish. The commotion was witnessed on shore. Gail heard some cries. She walked out onto the lanai and looked out across the ocean. She could see people pointing out into the water. There were no snorkelers. Instead, a lone person was struggling out in the water. He was clearly in distress. Her immediate thought was Thomas, but she knew he was an exceptional swimmer. Being in the water was second nature for Thomas, so if anybody was going to be in trouble in the water, it was unlikely to be him. Even so, Gail continued to watch as the person struggled to get to shore. There was a lack of first responders in the area. The man cried out for help, but none came. Witnesses on the beach couldn't reach him. They just watched on in horror as the man tried desperately to make it back to the shore. But under the surface of the water, he was bleeding profusely. He was losing his energy. 
he was losing the fight. Finally, a jet ski was scrambled, but they had left too late. The police rescue unit wave runner started up and sped over to Thomas, who was still thrashing around in the water. He was surrounded by a cloud of dark red water. His movements were growing less now, and as the officers arrived, he had lost consciousness. The shark had disappeared below the surface. They pulled him onto the jet ski and raced him to shore. All the while, his wife watched on. Only when she saw his swimsuit did she realize that it was Thomas. Her heart dropped and she screamed and ran over to him. She lay by his side and looked at his face. He was pale and unresponsive. She knew he had gone. Although officers tried CPR, they weren't able to bring Thomas back, and he died at the scene. It was a massive shock for Gail. She had seen him happily swimming in the water just moments before, living his best life. They were about to embark on their retirement together and had been best friends and inseparable ever since first meeting in high school. Now, Gail would have to navigate her new life without him by her side. The shark had completely severed his left leg below the knee. His wrist, where he tried to fight off the shark, was lacerated and had lost all its skin. He had lost too much blood while in the water. The attack had happened so quickly that there was little anybody could do. The death of Thomas was a huge shock for all who knew him. He lived for his family. His children and grandchildren meant everything to him. His wife said that his attitude toward life was never be afraid of trying new things or putting yourself out there. His adventurous streak in life meant that he lived life to the fullest. Although Gail doesn't blame officials for Thomas's death, she knows for a fact that he would not have gone swimming that day had he known that there was a tiger shark in the area. He was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Hawaii sees about 20 shark attacks per year. Thomas's attack was the first fatal shark attack in Hawaii since 2015, when a snorkeler was killed off Maui, just 40 miles to the south of where Thomas was attacked. Thomas was the sixth person attacked by a shark in Hawaii that year. In an island state that is surrounded by water, human shark encounters are bound to be more common. There are suggestions that climate change is driving the increasing number of shark attacks in Hawaii. With changing ocean temperatures and movement of prey, the main driving force.